Hey, sorry guys, the lighting, video, and audio probably aren't great. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Like, look at my phone, this is what I use. Look how ratchet that is. This is what I use to film my shorts. You guys are probably just surprised I have a phone. You're like, dude, I thought you just did Morse code. Uh, but I want to do a quick video. I've had a lot of people uh, come to my channel the last few weeks, which is super exciting. That's the whole reason I do this. And a lot of the themes throughout the comments is like, dude, where do I get started? And so I'm not going to do like I could do an hour long video, very comprehensive, and I could do a very good job of like the most intimate, you know, I could articulate the best possible advice on planet Earth for learning Morse code because I've just had such great mentors, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think a lot of people would watch an hour length uh, how to video. So I just want to give you guys like two or three actions. Like if you watch this video, you can leave the video with something day one, you can start doing immediately. Uh, so with that, I am going to link a couple more comprehensive videos if you want something more in depth. I have a advice for beginners video that's like 20 minutes that details my story, literally my story of where I was a year ago right now when I had never made a contact in Morse code. And then my friends, uh, Mike and Becky, they have a phenomenal YouTube channel. It's called Ham Radio Duo. And I'm actually going to link their video that they just recently published on how to learn Morse code because Frankly, the doctrine or the principles they share in that video align identically with my own. And there is a lot of kind of controversy in the learning Morse code world. And I, I feel pretty strongly that the methodologies they're sharing in that video are correct. And I, I feel really confident it will help you guys get up to speed the fastest. With that, uh, some bad news. Day one advice isn't go buy a paddle. If you want to, go ahead. I think that's great. Day one advice is like step one advice is get your ham radio license. Like literally the first thing you need to do before you do anything with Morse code is get your amateur radio license. If you're in the United States, that's your technician exam. I'll show you a couple of resources here. And that may not be what you want to hear, but I, I feel really strongly that if you start to learn Morse code and you don't have the ability to use it, you'll kind of check out. I've given the analogy before. It's like really getting excited about a sport, like if you really like basketball, but then you never get the chance to actually go and pick up a basketball. You're only allowed to sit on the sidelines and watch, but your dream is to pick up that ball. That's the same with Morse code. You won't be able to do anything with Morse code legally unless you have your license. So step one is get your amateur radio license. It's really fun. They will assign you a call sign. That's my call. I think you guys know that, KI7QCF. And once you have that, you're going to be rocking and rolling in no time. But if you want to do it concurrently, like study for your exam and get your Morse code proficiency going, go for it. Um, I would just say if you had to prioritize one, get your license first because it'll make using Morse code possible. Uh, the, the next thing that I want to cover really, really fast is um, here. I'll actually share my screen with you guys. Just, just a few resources for getting your exam. So the ARRL, this is an organization uh, you'll become familiar with. I think they have free exams on their website. This is what I used originally. Um, I studied for like a week. You only have to pass, I think it's like 28 out of 36 questions. Somebody in the comments correct me, that might be wrong, but it's around there. And there's 400 total questions. That may sound like a lot, but it's not. If you do a lot of practice tests, you'll start to memorize answers, and that's what I did. I genuinely passed my test in about a week. I actually failed it the first time, but they let you take it right again. I took it again, and I passed. So in one week, from nothing to a call sign, uh, it's definitely doable. And I'm like the world's worst student. Like I, I promise you guys, you're better students than me. Um, but you can, you can go do that. If you want to invest a little bit of money in kind of a more 2025 resource, this app, kicks butt. I have no relationship with them. They'll probably be stoked to show that I'm showing their webpage, um, Ham Radio Prep, but the technician license, I think it's 35 bucks for like the content. But again, I would just download their app so that on my phone, I could just take practice tests and get my call sign in like a week. You'll thank me later. It's not that hard. Invest time every single day and you'll get your license. If Even if it's not a week, if you do that for a month, guess what? A month from now, you have a call sign. How cool is that? You have a freaking call sign. If you get your call sign because of this video, I want to know really, really bad. Maybe I'll make you a sticker so you can have a sticker. Um, that's step one. Step two, once you have your license is just start with instant character recognition. So Mike and Becky's video is going to cover this comprehensively, but let's do it together. Like I'm actually going to show you guys right now. Like let's, let's take action 
and do this really fast together. We're going to learn the letter K, but this is all going to be linked in the description, guys. This Morse code dot world. The only way to learn Morse code is to understand the sounds. And so it's it sounds hard, but there's only 26 letters in the alphabet. So my son's two years old. He probably has memorized over a thousand sounds at two. Like I could go up to him right now and say, uh, ribbit. And he knows that's a frog. I could say meow. He knows that's a kitty cat. I could say woof. And he knows that's a dog. And he knows hundreds and hundreds of English words. So if a little baby can understand sounds and memorize sounds, you guys can understand sounds as well. And this is a cool thing. So this is the controversy in Morse code. You can understand sounds at very, very fast speeds. A huge misconception with Morse code is you got to start really slow so you can understand. No, I could go up to my son and say, ribbit. And he knows that's a frog. I don't need to go ribbit. And that's what people try to tell you to do with Morse code when you start out. No, don't do that. So um, these are all resources that'll be included. I have kind of a practice guide, but guys, in, imagine if you just did two characters a day and then each day you added characters. So today's two and then tomorrow's four because, well, you are already remembered K and M. So tomorrow you're gonna learn U and R. And then the next day that's six total letters because you have K, M, U, R memorized. Now you're doing E, S. Let's just start with K and see if we can memorize it. And again, this is 25 words per minute. I wouldn't go too much slower. If you want to start at 20, do whatever you want, but just listen to the sound with me. K. 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 It kind of sounds like da da da. So you guys know this with Morse code, but it's just dits and daws. So a pattern of dits and daws is what makes a sound. So that sounded to me like da da da. Let's listen. K. 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 Da da da. Let's put a comma every time you add a new letter. And so if you do the entire alphabet, add a comma after each one. But let's go learn what M is. So we know K is da da da. Ooh, that wasn't da da da. That was da da. So that must be M. 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 Do that with me as you hear the sound. When you hear K or M, say it verbally. Say it out loud. That's the key to this. Don't write it down. Don't think it in your head. Say it verbally. Don't ask questions. I'm just giving advice. K. K. M. You guys go. M. M. K. M. K, congratulations. You just learned two letters. So there's only 24 left and then you'll be slapping paddles around uh, making YouTube videos like me. It'll be a lot of fun. But no, in all seriousness, go watch Mike and Becky's video. They'll cover this in depth, but that's really it, is you need to memorize the sounds of 26 letters and then 10 numbers because it's one through nine and then the, the number zero. So 36 characters, sure there's punctuation, there's some abbreviations, don't worry about that. That'll come like this. 36 characters start with the alphabet. So 26 characters, you just learned two right here. Now, are you gonna remember them tomorrow morning when you wake up? Try it. Do you remember da 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 and da da? That's K and M. And you actually learn them at really fast speeds. Everyone told you that you had to learn that at like 10 words a minute. You just learned it at 25. So congratulations. See, I told you you're a good student. Okay, the last resources, I'll hyperlink some of this stuff, but if you do want to paddle, here's like a cheap paddle. That's a good option. Um, I link in this uh, spreadsheet, Iambic Master. Yeah, I do have videos of like keying into my computer and I, I'm like writing the letters. You guys have seen me like write out letters on a screen. Iambic Master is a tool to be able to do that. This is a lot of money, so I just wouldn't worry about this until you guys have your ham license. And then if you want to start practicing Morse code, a wink here is clutch. Like that's how I key through my computer. You can get a cheap paddle. Get your license and then if a bunch of you guys say, hey, I got my license, do that hour comprehensive video, I'll do an hour comprehensive video. But this is a hopefully short, actionable video with a couple resources you guys can go do right now. I hope it's helpful. Uh, go get your ham radio license. And I think it goes without saying, guys, I am so excited that you're interested. So keep me posted on your progress and uh, I would love to hear if any of you guys get your license.